I wanted to go with a trend. That's when my first video went 400,000 plus views. So as a girl, I, it's always my dream to have my own freedom and never depend on anybody. So when I saw Aditya, I always felt, does he even work? <laughs> Until two months, my followers were just 2,000. And overnight, I'm having 50,000 plus followers in my account. Never forget why did you leave your country and come here. Have one motivation and work on it. Millions of views, close to 20,000 following on Instagram. And that too made this happen in less than two and a half months. Being an international student, new to Canada, and now also getting into real estate sales, that's the person I have today for you guys because especially if you're someone already in real estate or aspiring real estate agents or investors or someone who wants to become a social media influencer to make good living here, then buckle up, make sure, stay tuned till the end because there's a lot of solid tips and nuggets that you can walk away with. Namaskar. This is Aditya Soma and welcome back to my channel. You know, I haven't touched on the social media that much on this channel. So that's why I have a special guest for you guys who is actually an international student, now part of WinCity. So instead of me doing all the intro, let me introduce you guys to... What's your name? <laughs> I'm Meghna Srinivas. I'm an international student, aspiring realtor and working in WinCity. Thank you. So what do you do in WinCity? So I am an Instagram ideationist. Yeah, so all the new real ideas that if you're following us on Instagram, if you haven't, make sure to follow us, Aditya Kumar Soma. So by the way, thank you for all the hard work that you've been doing. And that's not the reason I'm having you here to talk about because being an international student, you grew your social media within two and a half months. You know, like audience and myself, very curious how all these things started. What made you to get on to Instagram? I wanted to become a realtor. When I saw my friends Sahas and others when they were working in real estate, I was like, what can I do to become a realtor? So then they introduced me to a person called Aditya Soma. So when I approached him and I asked him, what can I do? I want to be you. Help me with it. So the first thing he told me was, what is your action? So he, I was, he in the sense it's me? Yeah. Okay, me, okay. <laughs> First, I thought you were referring to someone, Aditya. No, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, first thing Aditya mentioned was, what is your action? Then I was like, I have no idea what I have to do. So, when I approached him and I asked him, how should I move forward? The first thing he asked me was, build your network. And I was shocked. How do I build my network? Because I'm an introvert. I, mean, I don't socialize much. I don't have too many friends. How do I build network? That was my biggest question. That's when I actually attended his networking event. I could meet a lot of people. Then I spoke to Aditi again and I asked him, how can I build a network? So he showed me a platform called Instagram, social media, which until that day, I never used it as a platform for networking. I was using it for entertainment. So Aditi changed my view from entertainment to use the platform for networking and bring the value to the people. That's how I started my Instagram you know, journey. I still remember actually you were private, your account was private, right? Oh yeah, my account was private and my name was even not seen on my account because I'm a very private person who don't like to show my life anywhere. So, you know, that's great. I mean, you know, many people want to become a realtor and many people approach me. The reason, you know, even I, I don't encourage that many people because they don't do anything even with you I was telling what I'm doing you know this is what I have done you just need to start somewhere but only probably one percent of the people who take it and go and do it what you have done is impressive take me a step back because you know a lot of people who are watching they are like in your shoe because you know now I've been doing this for the last five years it became natural for me and for someone like you many people are in the same shoe who are like camera shy not public. What did you do? How did you shoot your first video? I just opened my camera, put it in front of me. I took literally 100 shots just to tell I'm Meghna Srinivas. So that was your first video? <laughs> yeah, that is my first video on my channel. And you can see how bad I was while doing it. But then I was like, what more could happen? Nothing. People will ignore. It's okay. I just did. Many people don't do it. At least I took a step and I took action. So just going back to, you know, your aspiration to get into real estate, what inspired you to become an agent? So first thing first, I want to have a financial freedom. 
So as a girl, I, it's always my dream to have my own freedom and never depend on anybody and always be independent. And when I was looking for this, and also I'm not a girl who can work nine, nine to five because I cannot sit in a place because I love roaming around. So when I saw Aditya, I always felt, does he even work? <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's a good field for me. Which is why I liked real estate because you can make money, you can live the life you want and also you need not stick to 9 to 5 jobs, you will do something that you love. Have you finished your exams or have you started? Where are you with your process for the real estate? First thing first, as a student, you can still pursue your real estate and I'm in my first course. So going on studying, doing my exams. Because that's one of the most common question I get. Can an international student do real estate course? Yes. Anybody can do a course as long as they are resident of Canada. You can do the course if you are a student, you can do a course if you are on a work permit. But you have to study whatever the course you were came for, right? So you are doing your college yes. plus you are doing this course. Oh, I'm doing oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, you are cute girl. You are so cute girl. You are so cute girl. You are so cute girl. You Click picture in the snow, na? <laughs> we did all this. Oh, that's oh, why you got look a video. Look at this. He's feeling shy. <laughs> My God, it is so cute, the dress. Bye, Papa. Bye, Amu. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you're an international student. That means you're not permanent resident, but you're taking real estate exams. How? So, if you are a student studying in Canada, that means you are a resident, that is temporary resident. So, anybody who is residing, other than you have come for visiting, they can pursue a real estate exam. Being a student, you can still continue with realtor license, but you have to continue your studies as well. Gotcha. So, you cannot get study permit with the real estate course. Yep, that makes sense. So, good luck with the exams. I know you will clear up soon. Um, now let's come coming back to the content mm -hmm. um how natural was it for you to do these videos especially like take me back to your beginning days so beginning days i used to take hundreds of uh, takes and i used to take so long i used to forget the words i have to retake and it, it was a long process it was draining me mentally and also like physically it was draining me and starting it was like an experimental stage for me i didn't know which was the right content to do i didn't know what is my niche i didn't even know where do i start and which one people will even notice but at the end of the day i just wanted to experiment that was my initial days you know biggest thing i see in social media a lot of people who start but they give up too quickly because it takes, you know, all the frustrations you mentioned too many times. And especially if the language you're not fluent with, all those things. How did you continue? Because, you know, you have so many things on your plate. Studies, part-time jobs, I'm assuming, and then real estate course. What kept you going? Commitment. So commitment is what kept me going. I promised myself, no matter, even if I don't get a single view, I will be posting a video weekly two. This was my commitment to myself. So whom I should prove? Myself. So I always proved myself and proved myself that I can do it. So did you started to get views from the day one? Not really. Trust me, it frustrated me. Like I'm doing everything. My content was really like helpful and meaningful. Why am I not getting a view? What mistake am I doing? But I never took it in a negative way and stopped it. That's when I started to calculate what I'm doing wrong what are others doing? So mm. here where I started to see other influences. Mm. So other influences are not my competitors, but they are also my inspiration. Because if they have gone to that state, they would have started with where I am today. So I started to open any of the influencer. I used to scroll down to their first post and see what did they do. So then I came to a conclusion, everyone started in the step, step one. Mm. That's where I started. You know what, that's actually a great point. That's what I used to do. I used to go like old videos for people who were done, you know, doing very well and take some ideas, inspirations and make my version of content based on the ideas I get from outside. Um, when did you started to see the growth, actual like views, like what was the first video that started to get thousands of views? Okay, let me be honest in this. I wanted to go with the trend. 
that's when my first video went 400,000 plus views. Mm -hmm. So that was just like a normal video where I went with the trend, which was uh, relatable. Mm. That way I can put it. Then I started to calculate like uh, where I can go. More than entertainment, I want to be like uh, valuable. So that's a great point. So you started to do trendy style videos. But how do you find those trends? So when I was scrolling to, through Instagram, I saw there were videos similar to this, like similar to the trends, but in a different form. So when all the big influencers started to do it in a similar form, so that is a trend that mm. we have to follow. But how do you do it? depending on what you are doing right now. So can you give us an example, the trend video that you're talking about? So I saw a video where they're talking about golden retriever. <laughs> That's what inspired me. So it says, I'm a retriever, I eat food, I'm a retriever. So they're using that. So what can I do? So I'm an international student. Why don't I use it? Mm. Let me see what all challenges we face. What is humorous where I can entertain people? Yeah, I saw that reel <laughs> and I made a inspiration video out of it, if you remember. We are realtors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's actually a great way because, you know, you took the idea and inspiration from the, you know, trending ones and you made it your specific, like based on what you're going through, right? That's, that's a fabulous one. And also I see recent one of your other video went really viral, like five plus million views. How did you come across that idea? I used to get a lot of DMs asking me, people asking me, how do I move to abroad? How can I study abroad? And I came across a news, GIC, you have to have 20,000 plus. Not everybody can afford it. But why people want to come to abroad? It's because they want to earn in dollars. Mm. That is the main intention of every person. So then I was like, how can I make, how can I make that happen? Sitting in India or in your home country and you have to make dollars. You can be with your family and earn well. What are those platforms? Then came to my mind was freelancing. Mm. Because 70% of North Americans are looking for freelancers, not just in America, but all over the world. And people out there have a lot of skills, but they don't know how to utilize it. That's why I wanted to like give them a platform where they can use it and make good money out of it. Yeah, so you know what I learned from that uh, is one thing you saw what people are asking you. That means, you know, people who are in your shoes or who wants to be in your shoes, whatever the questions you're getting now, you started to think content on based on that one. Because this is the value for even the realtors. They might say, oh, I don't know what to talk. Initially, did you had idea what to talk? You started with literally introducing yourself and then you went into about your student life. And now whichever people asked you, you now started doing about jobs so so let me add to a point mm -hmm. so the one thing i learned in social media is whatever you see think about what content i can make that is your first step in social media anything you see you see a mic just think about what content i can bring out of it that is the key for social media that's a good point actually because i look back and whatever the videos i've made i always think oh if my client asks me a question and if I get the question twice, that means I have to make a content on this one. Or, you know, if there is something happening in the market, I have to make a content on that. If there is a, a trendy thing going on, I have to make a content on that. There is a market update, I have to make content on that. So the content ideas, actually, there is a lot out there, right? You just have to choose it. Yep. So the heavy lifting is over. You, you learned how to, you know, pick the trends, how to pick the content, how to shoot. But were you an editor, professional editor? <laughs> no, I, I, I had zero clue about how to edit. And I have an editor friend, Adarsh. He told me there's an application called CapCut, which is purely free and for beginners. Play with it. it right now, it takes me just half an hour to edit my video. And it, it is as professional as possible uh, to whatever the content I'm making. Not too professional, but for the beginners, it is the best app to use. Honestly, if you don't have 10,000, 20,000 following, it's the best platform. Because, you know, even in beginning days, when I used to edit, everyone used to tell me CapCut, CapCut, CapCut. And it's so easy to use. And if you even don't know, just go on YouTube, search CapCut beginner editing video. You will get good amount of videos and that's it, right? That's it. So pretty much now you edit your videos within half an hour. Yep. 
That's fantastic. What was the most surprising thing to you while being on this social media? Until two months, my followers were just 2,000. And overnight, I'm having 50,000 plus followers in my account. It just took me two days to gain that 13,000 followers. So you will find your day, you will get your day. Just keep working on it. Yeah, I love that because you know, you never know where that viral videos come in. And I really like the way you said in the beginning and that's the mindset I am with. I, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I don't even care if I'm gonna gain the following or not. Yes, you can learn all the strategies, but if you're focusing on just the following, you will get stressed out and all those things. But rather if you focus on delivering the value, the more value you give in a packaged, in a way that it can go viral. Because that was uh, that's the difference I noticed between you and you know many people who are in the beginning like me who struggled for years to get the following is you packaged in a real nice way that five tips to get the job it was like ten seconds but went five million views and the one that we are international students that was like what twenty seconds or twenty five seconds and you catch the trend went probably three hundred four hundred thousand views and the recent one your experience working at the you know, company, the top five companies, those are like really valuable tips and got like 400,000 views. So you just need to learn how to package them and don't focus, this is from my experience, don't focus on becoming an expert on the day one. Were you an expert on the day one? No. Did you knew about social media at all? No. But you know, one thing I learned from you is like, you're always observing this all people, you know, what everyone is doing. And that's the reason I saw that skill in you. That's why now you're with WinCity, right? So again, keep the consistency, keep it going, keep learning, keep seeing, observing what is happening on social media platforms, who is getting viral, how they are getting viral. If you dig into it, you will start finding your ideas. Any final words for people who are watching? This? Never forget why did you leave your country and come here? Always work on what you desired for. Have one motivation and work on it. I have job, I have class, I have assignment, I have gym, I have all other things in my plate. But still, I'm consistent on what I want in life because this one year will give you 10 years of happiness. I love that. That's what I call the blind focus. You know how horses go. Just focus. Because, you know, if you don't focus, you'll get diverted. You, you have all these things, but because you know this social media is going to give you that because now you have seen enough people who got whose lives changed right so if you have watched the video so far if you felt it's valuable please help me with this algorithm hit the like i'm aiming for 2000 likes on this video. so thank you so much that's actually a great tip and i wish you really the best on social media and real estate and looking forward to do another video once you hit your 100000 probably soon maybe in weeks or months or maybe in days who knows also, what did you like from this video? What is your takeaway? Let us know in the comments below. And I would love to see at least 2000 likes on this video because it's so valuable, at least for me. If it's for you, make sure don't forget to hit that like. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, make sure to check out the other videos where we have a lot of inspiration for you know realtors on how to thrive. Until then, see you later.